morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is October the 31st of 2023 and happy Reformation Day. Um, I know the world calls it Halloween, but we're going to call it Reformation Day. The church in the 1500s, in fact, the year was 1517 when the Protestant Reformation got started. And as we look at it, the church had lost sight of many of its fundamental doctrines, namely the justification by faith alone. And the church somewhat rediscovered, if you will, at least some within the church, rediscovered that great, great doctrine upon which we stand so firmly today. And so good morning to you. I have my hot cup of coffee right here, and I am looking forward to enjoying it. I have my copy of the Word of God open to Numbers chapter 34, and I'm looking forward to enjoying it, and I trust that you're going to open up your copy of the Word of God, and you're going to follow along with us as we read Numbers chapter 34. And as we get started, let me go ahead and let's turn our attention to the bad dad joke, and I thought this one was pretty cute, so here we go. The CEO of Ikea was just elected president of Sweden. He should have his cabinet put together by the end of the week. And so we will leave you with that. And I hope you got at least a little bit of a chuckle there. And again, we're looking forward to a wonderful day. Tonight is Trunk or Treat. We will be passing out candy as well as some gospel tracks. We'll have people out there to minister. We're looking forward to that opportunity. Keep us in prayer. The other day, I asked you to pray for mom. Yesterday she fell and she broke her wrist. So if you would continue to pray for her in regards to that, I would also be very appreciative. It is the nine o'clock hour. And let's go ahead and let's bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Glorious Father, we come into your presence and we are indeed grateful for all that you have done. You have been good to us, and we take the opportunity to thank you. Not only for the things that you have done, and there are plenty, but for who you are. And Lord, for the privilege that we have to come into your presence bringing our burdens, bringing our blessings, bringing our hearts before you. And Father, you hear us. In fact, you invite us to come. You tell us to come boldly. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we come before your throne today, we certainly do want to remember Mom. We pray that you would keep the pain to a minimum as she talks to perhaps even a surgeon today. Lord, I just pray that you would work out all the details and, Father, superintend the healing of her wrist. Strengthen her. Encourage her. Father, tonight we have Trunk or Treat. We look forward to ministering. We look forward to sharing with the kids and their parents welcoming them in, introducing ourselves to them. And Father, we just ask that you would, again, superintend all of the contacts. And perhaps, Father, today we would reach even one with the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We praise you for this opportunity. Now bless our efforts. Father, as we come before you in Coffee with Pastor in our Bible reading this morning, Lord, to just have your word is a privilege. And so many times we neglect the study of your word. We pray that it would not be the case. That we would be diligent to get into your word. That we would seek to know you, to know your word, to know your will. And that we might do your will. 
as we draw closer to you, we ask your blessing upon us. We ask that you would meet each and every need. We ask that today that your very best would be poured out upon your people. Each one that joins us today, you know their needs. You know their burdens. You know their hearts. And Father, we just pray that each and every need you would supply. Make us like Christ. And Lord, may we focus on today to be faithful to you. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. We are in Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Let us begin reading. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for an inheritance, even the land of Canaan, with the coasts thereof. Then your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the coast of Edom, and your south border shall be the outmost coast of the Salt Sea eastward. And your border shall turn from the south to the extent of Akribim, and pass on to Zin, and the going forth thereof shall be from the south to Kadesh Barnea, and shall go on to Hazar Adar, and pass on to Asmon. And the border shall fetch a compass from Asmon unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of it shall be at the sea. And as for the western border, ye shall even have the great sea for a border. This shall be your west border, and this shall be your north border. From the great sea ye shall point out for you Mount Hor. And from Mount Hor ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Hamath. And the goings forth of the border shall be to Zedad. And the border shall go on to Z Ziphon. And the goings out of it shall be at Hazar Enon. This shall be your north border. And ye shall point out your east border, from Hazar Enon to Shephem. And from the and the coast shall go down from Shephem to Ribla, on the east side of Ain. And the border shall descend, and shall reach unto the side of the sea of Chinneroth eastward. And the border shall go down to Jordan, and the goings out of it shall be at the Salt Sea. This shall be your land, with the coasts thereof round about. And Moses commanded the children of Israel, saying, This is the land which ye shall inherit by lot, which the Lord commanded to give unto the nine tribes and to the half-tribe. For the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance, and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance on this side Jordan near Jericho, eastward, toward the sun rising. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, These are the names which shall divide the land unto you. Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun. And ye shall take one prince of every tribe to divide, the, to divide the land by inheritance. And the names of the men are these. Of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Jephunneh. And of the tribe of the children of Simeon, Shemuel the son of Aminah. Of the tribe of Benjamin, Aladad, the son of Chislam. And the prince of the tribe of the children of Dan, Buki, the son of Jogla. The prince of the children of Joseph, for the tribe of the children of Manasseh, Heniel, the son of Ephod. And the prince of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Kemuel, the son of Shiptan. 
and the prince of the tribe of the children of Zebulun, Elizaphan, the son of Parnach, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Issachar, Paltiel, the son of Azan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Aser, Ahiad, the son of Shalomi, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, Pedahel, the son of Amihad. These are they whom the Lord commanded to, to divide the inheritance unto the children in the land of Canaan. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Although Moses will never see the land, well, I'll take that back. He will enter the land one day, but it won't be with the children of Israel at this point. However, he continues to make provisions for the successful entering and the dividing of the land of Canaan amongst the children of Israel, knowing full well that very soon God would be taking him home. It's a matter of, again, being faithful, not just even through a day, but literally to the very end of one's life. Moses was a good example in that regard. Beloved, you and I are commanded to be faithful, to be faithful to God in literally everything and literally every day of our lives. Beloved, we encourage you to be faithful to God. And by the way, never, never allow yourself to become a stumbling block, to become someone's excuse for, com for not coming to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, remember that God loves you very, very much, and we do as well. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And happy Reformation Day. God bless.